It's that time again. Time for midday mindfulness. My name is Christine, and if you could do with a break right now, I'm here to help. I'm a holistic health coach, breathwork coach, yoga instructor, and all around proponent of peace. And it would be my honor to help you bring a little bit more peace to your day, to your moment, to your right now. So we'll just pause just for a moment to see if anybody wants to pop on live and then we'll just jump right in. So welcome back if you've been here before. Happy to see you again. And if this is your first visit with us, hey, I hope you like it. I hope you benefit from it, from hanging out with me for a few minutes on Thursdays. So we will get right on in there. So as we do in the beginning of our visits together, we breathe three times minimally, min, minimum, three times minimum, sorry. And we do that in a very specific way. So I hope that you are seated on something reasonably comfortable. I am. And your body is square in your seat, right? So let's start there. Let's make sure that we have a proper foundation because when you have a great foundation, your opportunities for building are endless. So um, just move a little side to side, move a little front to back and make sure that you are squarely in this moment. Not being swayed by external things, not living too much in the future, nor too much in the past. Right here, right now. Yeah. So what we'll do is, it's up to you. You can put two hands down here at the low belly south of the belly button. That's where we're focusing on. Another option is to put one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly. It all works however it serves you or is most comfortable for you or you can simply just leave your hands resting. It's all good. So we will breathe together in and out through the nostrils three times but when the air comes in the nose We'll invite it way down deep and inflate and deflate the belly space. And other things, you know, your other parts will inflate too. It's totally cool. But this is the focus, this low, deep, slow breathing in and out through the nostrils. Here we go. See if this last one can be slower still. Try it. The biggest one. Wonderful. Wonderful. How do you feel? Maybe a little calmer after those three breaths. I hope so, for your sake. So um, when we were together last, we spoke about uh, a type of breath work combined with meditation that was not only used by ancient Christians, but also by ancient yogis. And I love that extra because if you look at the Venn diagram of all of us, there's always that beautiful sweet spot in the middle where we're all connected because we are all of us connected. So uh, the meditation that I'm referring to, um, you have your palms. I hope you can see my palms. I think you can. Uh, the back of the palm is resting on the thighs, knees, lap, something. Yeah. And what we'll do is we'll tap very gently the forefinger to the thumb, middle finger to the thumb, ring finger to the thumb and pinky to the thumb. 
that's it. And then you can sit there in complete silence and just breathe and do that. That's perfectly acceptable as well. Um, the ancient ones did sa, ta, na, ma as their mantra. Sa, ta, na, ma as they tapped each finger, okay? And that's, those are the seed sounds for the entirety of the life cycle. Birth, life, death, and rebirth. The entirety of our existence. Sa, ta, na, ma. We can see this in the seasons. We can see this in our lives. It's just how it is. So if you don't really feel too great about using sata nama, you don't have to do that. Uh, there's lots of other options. Always in yoga, we bring the posture or the practice to you. We do what we can to make it feel awesome in your person, whether we're modifying a physical posture or, um, or this meditation. So a beautiful one in my life, whose name is Addie, she suggested, she works with preschoolers and really littles, maybe kindergarten age too. And what she does with her littles is she says, let peace begin with me. Let peace begin with me. Let peace begin with me. Wow. I mean, is that not spectacular to give to our littles each and every day? Uh, another option is if your mind is racing, racing, racing all around and you're having a hard time putting a harness on your marvelous mind, you can say, right here, right now, right here, right now. Excellent. How about uh, another option? I'm calm, I'm happy. I'm calm. I'm happy. So many options for you, but it's the, the framework is of course, basically the same. So if you would, if you would join me. Okay. So in terms of what you do with your gaze, you saw me close my eyes before closing your eyes is not mandatory. It's suggested to settle down the visual stimulation to the brain, right? But if that's not your jam, it's not feeling too good. In your body no problem you can just simply allow your gaze to trickle down your cheeks or over the tip of your nose and just land down there somewhere so that you can be less visually focused meaning let your eyes get a little blurry on purpose so you can focus on other things huh, focus okay so um, if you would join me or not but just think about it, okay? So put your palms, the backs of your palms on your thighs. Sit nice and tall. Maybe roll those shoulders back. Wiggle around in the neck and make sure that your person, your physical self is calm, seated, grounded, comfortable. Here we go with a soft gaze. And as we inhale, okay, same thing. We inhale deep into the belly. Let peace begin with me. So you're continuing the inhale and you're kind of whispering this mantra to yourself. Let peace begin with me. Exhale, let peace begin with me or sa ta na ma sa ta na ma or right here right now right here right now i'm happy i'm calm i'm happy i'm calm And all the while you're inhaling and exhaling deep into that belly space, balancing your central nervous system, 
engaging the deep wisdom that's present in all of our bodies, in all of our minds. You just forgot where you put it. That's all. One more breath. Come on. Inhale with me. Let peace begin with me. Now, like we do on our yoga mat, full transition breath. Inhale, fill your whole torso with as much breath as you can. Split second hold at the top. And exhale, long, slow, and deep, and keep exhaling. And when you think you're done exhaling, maybe let out a little more. And here we are, together, calmer, more peaceful in this moment. You did that for yourself. And imagine if you do that for yourself, what the ripple effect will be for those in your sphere of influence, in your space. It's pretty powerful stuff. So uh, another something I'd like to mention to you if you don't mind, we have lots of dear ones working very hard on what we now call the front lines of all of this stuff. Yeah. And um, I was really fortunate that uh, something was shared with me from a trade magazine. This particular trade magazine is from a group of anesthesiologists. And so these folks, all medical folks, right? They're working so hard and the stresses and the emotions that they are processing, it's, it's almost unimaginable for those of us not doing that every day, right? But what I wanted to mention to you was that right here in their trade magazine, there's an entire page about mindfulness. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Everybody needs it. Everybody. And these folks know it too. And right at the top, the item number one, how to decrease anxiety and increase calm, breathe. That's right. Breathe in for five seconds. Hold. Breathe out for five or six or seven seconds. Oh, slow inhaling and exhaling mimics an old yoga technique for vagal stimulation and brain relaxation. How about it? Isn't that wonderful? And then the next item on their suggested list is progressive relaxation. We've done that together. And then the five senses grounding, which we have also done together. So I just want you to know, I'm not making this stuff up. It's ancient and amazing and powerful and if the super wise well-educated amazingly capable humans are recommending these same practices to one another to help cope i think it's going to work for all of us right so we'll do one more little bit of uh, mindfulness here so i don't take up your whole lunch hour that wasn't the intent okay so what I'd like you to do is sit still wherever you are. If your feet are on the floor, well, I, I'm asking you to put your feet on the floor. And if you can't, that's all right too. Just feel whatever's under your feet. Just feel that. Bring your awareness to your feet. Now, it's hard to kind of just feel your feet, right? At first, you're not really sure what I'm talking about. So wiggle the toes around, wiggle them around and feel them. Feel them as they touch back down, maybe into a shoe or on the floor, wherever. Even as they rise up, maybe the, the back of the toe, the top of the toe is touching the top of the shoe on the inside. Feel it. Now, curl up your toes, tense up your toes, curl them up tight, 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 and relax them. Now we're moving up the legs. Okay. Knees, squeeze them together so that the, the inner knee is touching. The inner knees, excuse me, are touching. Squeeze them together. 
Squeeze tight, 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 tight. And relax them. Yeah. Now we're gonna move up the body. It's hard to work in the hips while we're seated. So I'll just move to the low belly space, okay? So what we'll do is we'll draw the navel into the spine and tighten your abdominal muscles. Okay, ready, go. Tight, tight, draw that navel to the spine, bring it there, squeeze. Ah, let go, let that belly release. You can feel that after the tension, that relaxation sensation is much more obvious, if you will, to your awareness, okay? So now I'm moving up to the shoulders. See about inhaling your shoulders up towards your ears, tight, tightly, 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 as tight as you are able. Don't hurt yourself, don't cause pain at all. Just squeeze those shoulders up and then ah. Uh, relax them down maybe give them a roll nice isn't that awesome doesn't that feel good and last but by no means least if you've been here before you know how much I like to take care of our uh, finger spiders right here so either squeezing your hands together like this or you can squeeze your hands onto your knees or maybe maybe your fingers have some arthritis or something and they don't love this that's okay no worries you can just simply go here and we'll squeeze tightly using those fingers squeeze tightly 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 inhale keep squeezing and when the exhale comes relax maybe wiggle See? Now, by intentionally activating body parts and then relaxing them, your awareness is increased. Your relaxation is increased too, which is what we're going for. But when you're aware of tension in the body, that's the only time you can release it. You have to be aware first, right? Don't wait till you have this terrible pain in the neck or whatever let's take this in increments bless the body in little bits throughout our day and therefore bless the mind and the spirit also so my friends that's what i wanted to share with you today i also noticed in the grocery store that there are several other magazines that are talking all about mindfulness and so before we part company i would just like to say these practices that I'm bringing you are not just some fad that's going to rise up in the world and then crash and no one's going to hear about it anymore. These practices have been around for a really long time, hundreds, thousands even of years. They're not going away. And the reason they have lasted this test of time or withstood the test of time is because they work and because they really do enhance you. Not just your human doing, but your human being. So, I hope that these mindfulness breaks have benefited you in some way. And if so, I'm welcoming you, inviting you to share this video all around. It's not about any one particular group. Um, it's not about subscriptions. It's not about anything. It's just about me, Christine, wanting to bring a little peace, a little mindfulness, a little calm, and therefore, maybe, a little more happiness to your day. So, my friends, until next time we meet, I'm giving you peace and love and I'm trying my best to spread it all throughout the world. I wish you a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And I hope you stop back and see me again next Thursday. Thank you, be well, bye for now.